Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This session I shall be explaining you the producer-consumer problem using semaphores. So in one of my previous session, I have explained the producer-consumer problems using the sleep and wake up. There we have seen the problem, the producer and consumer both will enter into the deadlock state. So to overcome that per particular problem only, this concept of semaphores was introduced. And here we are making use of what first thing is you look at the different semaphores that are used. It is not just one semaphore that is required here. We require <coughs> one semaphore called as the initial value. Okay, the initial value for n. What is n? That also I will explain you. Then first you see the different types of semaphores that are used. Three types are three dif three semaphores are used here. One is called as mutex, another is called as empty, and third semaphore that is used as full. So you should always what uh, write in this manner in the declaration part. Mutex is of the semaphore, empty is of the type semaphore, full is of the type semaphore, and here you would have declared what semaphore is of what integer variable. And you initialize the values for all these three semaphores. So here what is that we have initialized? First, and uh, if you recall the producer-consumer problem, the producer is trying to produce the items in a buffer. And there I have taken what only five locations in the buffer. Similarly, here also I will try to make use of five locations. So for that reason, the normally the author has given what the value for number of slots in the buffer as 100. I will change it to 5. And here I will... Instead of n, I will write down 5. So, we are just, we, I am taking 5 slots here in the buffer. And what for these semaphores are used? Mutex is used to access the critical region. Empty semaphore is used to count the number of empty slots. And full semaphore is used to count the number of uh, slots that are filled. Clearly visible. Later, I will project that part also. So, the complete code is consisting of what first the declaration here, then the pseudocode for semaphore is written over here, and the pseudocode for the uh, pseudocode for the producer is written here, and the pseudocode for the consumer is written over here. So <coughs> we will start uh, seeing one by one the lines that are present in the producer and the consumer. So first we have to initialize the value for the uh, already we have this we have seen the initial values for the semaphores mutex is one, empty is equal to five, and full is uh, equal to 0. What we are trying to say is if these are 5 locations, so initially all locations are empty. That is why 5 locations we have initialized the empty variable to 5. Full nothing is written over here. Definitely the count for full is equal to 0. Mutex because now we are making use of what access to critical region. We are taking, we are trying to see that mutual exclusion should be achieved. So to access that particular critical section. Now critical section here is what this each slot. Both producer and the consumer should not try to access at the same time this particular section. For that, we require mutual exclusion. And in order to do that, we require a semaphore. And we are making use of what? The semaphore as mutex. So, mutex <coughs> binary semaphore we are writing here equal to 1. Start seeing the different uh, lines of instructions in the producer. So, int item, whatever item is getting placed in the buffer is of the integer type. As long as it is true, these lines of instructions will get executed. Item equal to produce item. Now, I will just start doing for the producer. I will write with uh, uh, another ink. So, here first let me write for the producer. Okay. So, this particular slot look here. Item equal to produce item. Okay. Produce item is what? Simply write the integer, one integer, anything. Suppose if you are writing 35, okay, it has produced here, but still it has not come into the slot, the item is produced. Now the producer will perform the down operation on empty. Empty is here. So what is the value for empty? Empty is initially equal to 5. Down operation on empty, see just to, now at present what you can do is for all the semaphores, Remember in simpler words, down is to decrement the value of semaphore, up is to increment the value of semaphore. That we can carry out. Definition for all the semaphores are written over here, are written here. See, look here, the definitions for all the semaphores I have written here. What we are doing is, we are just writing here the instruction, down, the operation down on the semaphore empty. But the definition is here. This is what it will happen. For the down, it is from here to here. For up, it is from here to here. Similarly, the other semaphore mutex down is up till here. Then you have the up operation. 
okay and here for the other third type of semaphore that is full third semaphore is full and it is down part and this is the up operation okay this will be what whenever down on empty is there this is what it happens so at present we know that down operation will always decrement but let us check also at the same time let us check also empty is what phi phi less than or equal to 0 phi less than or equal to 0 condition is false then if condition is false it will come out that means there is no I already do, uh, uh, this one disc, uh, explained in detail about this just now once again I will tell you so that for other definitions I am not going to repeat again and again hope you people know that always what there is no uh, body for the loop here when the condition becomes fall the value for empty semaphore will get decremented by one that means the control will come over to this instruction so empty becomes one so empty is what four okay down operation the value becomes four then down on mutex mutex value is what one same thing as i said please uh, carry out this uh, mutex value one less than or equal to zero the condition is false so it will be decremented by one so mutex value becomes zero what is the third line insert the item now this item gets inserted okay up on mutex up on mutex increment the value for mutex what is up definition says mutex equal to mutex plus one okay it has become one now fine next is what uh, here come here uh, up on mutex then you have you have to perform up on full full value initially is equal to zero up on full will make it the value as one so this will be carried out until what until you have to until the producer starts writing all these items one by one so let us see whether it will produce the next item also and it will try to carry out all this uh, down and up operation on the semaphores let us see uh, so wide or uh, wide producer code is here item equal to produce item let us produce the item perform the down operation on empty empty will make it three three perform the perform the down operation on mutex so here it is look here i am just at this line perform the down operation on mutex what will happen mutex will become zero then perform uh, insert the item now insert the item up on mutex up on mutex this one then up on full to make it the count becomes full <coughs> hope you people are following this so up on full up on full will make the value as two after this once again carry out these instructions produce the item okay let us take produce the item down on down operation on empty okay then down operation on mutex insert the item up operation on mutex up operation on full now the value for full is 3 and empty is 2 still we have two more slots let us see that whether after it gets filled up that means after the producers fills this uh, other two slots what will be the next situation how it is going to handle that is more important here so let us see now we'll run this code producer code item equal to produce item produce the item perform the down operation on empty empty value becomes one perform the down operation on mutex value becomes zero insert the item up operation on mutex okay up operation on full fine Pr uh, produce the item down operation on empty one becomes zero down operation on mutex insert the item up operation on mutex up on full where is up up on full all slots got filled up it will start again to produce the item let us take some number randomly 32 uh, this item is there now down operation on empty empty down operation if it does what will be the value on empty it will become minus one okay if minus one is there empty if you check here the definition minus one less than or equal to zero the condition becomes true here once the condition becomes true then this line of instruction it will be in the uh, loop itself it will never get uh, it will never come out of the loop it will get struck there so here it fails that means that uh, that is what we wanted the producer should stop producing the item once all the slots are filled up 
okay for that reason only we have used this semaphore empty it is what it is keeping track of the count of the empty slots so once it becomes what minus 1 here definitely it will get struck there is no place also and it will never be able to insert the item so this is what we wanted and we have achieved here now from here only we will continue with the consumer code what does consumer it has to take out all the items from this buffer one by one so let me focus on the consumer code hope it is visible now fine this is what is the consumer code now present values are like this i have not disturbed wherever we have stopped for the producer will continue from for the consumer consumer will start executing its code down operation on full down operation on full it will make the value equal to 4 down operation on mutex value becomes 0 remove the item so we will remove this item up on mutex up on empty consume the item so whatever is the item that was that got removed will be consumed consumed here is either it wants to write that item into a file or on the monitor or to print so for that will be used then next once again it will start doing this instructions first line is what down on full okay down on mutex down on where is this here down on mutex value becomes zero remove the item okay the item up on mutex then up on empty consume the item so this item will also get consumed next down on full down on mutex then remove the item up on mutex up on empty consume the item so this item will also get consumed next down on full full is here down operation on full will make the value to 1 down on mutex item equal to remove the item up on mutex up on empty up on empty value becomes 4 consume the item so this item will also get consumed once again down on full where is full full yeah down operation on full 0 down on mutex once it performs down on mutex it is 0 okay then remove the item up on mutex up on empty consume the item so this item now all these slots have become what completely vacant everything the consumer has consumed now suppose it wants it tries to consume from a particular buffer wherein there are no items at all then what will happen that you need to check here so what it will do it will start performing the down operation first down on full down on full is what if it performs down on full the value becomes minus one here minus one down on full down on full value has become minus one minus one less than or equal to zero condition becomes true here it will get struck inside that means it will be in the loop itself it will never be able to proceed further and this is what we wanted so minus one value is not going to help now so in this way the consumer has stopped consuming the items once the buffer becomes what empty so this is what is the usage of the semaphore also wherein you have seen that the processes are well synchronized here the producer will stop producing the items once the buffer is full and the consumer will stop consuming the items once the uh, buffer is empty so this way both the processes are synchronized and that we could achieve with the help of these semaphores that's the reason we have taken only the binary semaphore for mutex because we want to lock this it is like uh, once you try once a process wants to access this particular location this one it will lock here with the mutex then it will unlock here after it completely access once again lock and unlock lock and unlock that means at the time when it is trying to access this location if the producer is accessing it will not allow consumer also to access at the same time for that reason only this mutex is used mutex semaphore is mainly used here to access the critical section so this is the critical section each slot should be accessed only by one process either the producer or the consumer both should not be allowed to access at the same time definitely it will give a wrong result so this way 
the mutex semaphore is a binary semaphore here and we have seen that the values will always be what 1 0 1 0 1 0 lock and lock lock unlock and whereas the other two semaphores empty and full are what you can see it is uh, counting it starts from here any value you can take whatever slots you have fixed i have decided 5 so i'll start with 5 if you want 10 you start with 10 then full will always be what initialized to 0 always so the user consumer problem was uh, is getting solved here using the concept of the semaphores so hope this session is useful to you all and if you find this useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care